New developments in a class action lawsuit over the tents and homeless camps on Portland streets. The suit filed in September and claims the city's failure to clear sidewalks prevents people with disabilities from getting by. Now listen to this. The lawyer behind the suit says Multnomah County is paying millions for those camping supplies just for the city to sweep them all away. Elise Haas digging deeper into those claims she joins us now. This is fascinating, Elise. It is. So there's two issues here, and the lawsuit is claiming that the city is blocking access and that the county is the one that's providing those tents and then, of course, getting in the way of their plaintiffs. And as we know, they're probably also likely throwing a lot of those tents away. So what we do know is that the law firm representing the disabled people found budget documents showing Multnomah County bought and distributed tens of thousands of tents tarps and sleeping bags last year. They say that they're likely the tents that ended up on the sidewalks, which are blocking their disabled plaintiffs in wheelchairs from being able to get from point A to point B. So it appears to us that the county supplies the tents, which block the sidewalks, which the city then sweeps. And to me, that's akin to trying to walk up the down escalator. You get nowhere and you're exhausted at the end of the day. There is no cogent uh, 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 policy between these two governments. Now the lawyers have issued subpoenas requiring Multnomah County to produce every document that shows exactly what they did who they bought the tent supplies from, how much they paid, and if they properly informed the nonprofit partners that recipients should not be putting these tents up on sidewalks. So we have reached out to the city attorney's office, Multnomah County, and the Joint Office of Homeless Services for comment. And within the hour, we received this from JOHS, saying in part, the Joint Office of Homeless Services has put half its budget this year into expanding and strengthening its shelter system even as it builds a rapid response housing system that has helped 4,560 people leave homelessness. So they did, of course, go on to say that they do not comment on pending litigation, but Multnomah County now has 30 to 45 days to respond to the subpoenas. Okay, and you're going to be following up on this, but this is uh, just another debate in this homeless crisis that needs to be addressed. Yeah, just a never-ending cycle and a lot of money that seems to be going down the drain. Thanks, yeah. Elise. Thank you.